Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some partly cloudy skies out there this morning. Already warm. Seeing temperatures in the 80s. Going to see a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm pop up this afternoon from about noon till 1500 local. Otherwise, going to see just warm conditions today. Slightly humid and overall just a typical summer day across the region. Looking at our sounding from this morning, we have a freezing level of 14,800 feet. Winds out of the north to northwest throughout the column this morning, increasing with height. Fairly light in the low levels, 15 to 10 knots, and increasing up to 30 knots at 12,000 feet, and then 35 knots at 25,000 feet this morning. Taking a look at our surface analysis, we had a weak cold front. Trying to move through the area this morning, that's a dry cold front. Going to have a chance of a sea breeze, shower, or thunderstorm this afternoon. Otherwise, just seeing anywhere from partly cloudy skies, mostly sunny skies, and warm temperatures. So taking a look at our satellite imagery this morning, you can see we do have a little bit of cumulus cloud that's developed across the region. That's going to be uh, continuing to be the case the next few hours and possibly seeing some of those cumulus clouds develop into a shower or thunderstorm for the afternoon hours. Looking at the 3 kilometer NAM model and the derived reflectivity, this is 10 o'clock this morning moving on to noon and then here's 2 o'clock can see those showers and possible thunderstorms developing just near wallops uh, and that is our best chance of seeing something today. Moving on through the overnight hours tonight, nothing in the forecast as far as rain or lightning. Then Tuesday looks like we only have about a less than 10% chance of seeing something pop up and a little bit drier air mass on Tuesday so it should see very, very limited chances of showers and thunderstorms. Moving into Wednesday, we'll have a better chance of showers and thunderstorms across the region. However, with the dry conditions that we've experienced this June, it's kind of most likely going to continue to see dry conditions across the region. Then looking at uh, the European model for the next few days, here's today you can see that slight chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm over the eastern shore of Virginia. Moving into Tuesday, uh, just going to see an upper level low across the northeast states and uh, really just kind of tranquil weather other than the warm conditions we'll see on Tuesday and then Wednesday we'll see that upper level low get closer to the region as well as an upper level disturbance moving through that's going to give us chances of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday and then Thursday very similar conditions to Wednesday a slightly less chance of showers and thunderstorms on Thursday compared to Wednesday as we'll have that upper level low moving through the region giving us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms and for Friday it looks like we'll have a dry day across the region have a disturbance moving in from the north but that looks like it should be delayed until possibly Saturday seeing uh, some showers and thunderstorms but overall with these dry conditions that we've experienced for June going to be becoming more tough uh, or more difficult to have showers and thunderstorms across the region as the soil is dry and we're not seeing much chances of those showers and thunderstorms with any strong cold fronts moving through. So uh, most likely going to continue to persist with this uh, isolated nature of the showers and thunderstorms for the next week or so. So looking like uh, today's risk chart will have a high of 88 degrees, a low of 70 tonight. We'll see about a 20 to 30 percent chance of those showers and thunderstorms from noon till 1500 local. We'll see our winds fairly light today overall. A northeasterly wind with a sea breeze coming on short 8 to 13 knots, quickly shifting out of the east and then south for the afternoon and evening hours, and we'll see northwesterly winds at 48 knots tonight. Our next 24 hours, our terminal forecast, going to see uh, a chance we see a broken deck around 2,000 feet this morning, but overall should see VFR conditions. If we do see any uh, ceilings below 3,000 feet, it will be at around 2,000 feet today, and with that uh, shower thunderstorm, we can't rule out those ceilings at 2,000 feet going to continue to see uh, VFR conditions tonight and then tomorrow morning just a little bit more serious cloudiness across the region with anywhere from partly to mostly cloudy conditions across the region. Our ties are slightly above normal and looking at Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday will be partly cloudy, very slight chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, warm high of 88 degrees. Uh, those chances look to be less than 10 percent. Tuesday night partly cloudy and mild. A low of 71. We'll have a disturbance trying to move through on Tuesday uh, night into, mon into Wednesday morning. Um, but it uh, looks like the best chance of those showers and thunderstorms will come on Wednesday afternoon with partly to mostly cloudy conditions, a chance of a shower or thunderstorm, a high of 85 degrees. So looking at the next seven days, we'll have that 20% chance today, 
looking at a 40% chance on Wednesday, 30% chance on Thursday, and then rounding out the weekend for your 4th of July festivities at 20% both days. Can't rule out a pop-up shower or thunderstorm on either of those days. We'll continue to see summertime temperatures across the region, 88 degrees both today and tomorrow. A little bit cooler on Wednesday and Thursday with more onshore flow and the increased cloud cover across the region with the chances of showers and thunderstorms um, with temperatures in the mid-80s and then bumping back up into the lower 90s on Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday looks like it'll be a slightly cooler day compared to Saturday with a little bit more onshore flow, highs in the uh, upper 80s on Sunday. So as I mentioned, we'll have those best chances of showers and thunderstorms the next seven days on Wednesday and Thursday. Otherwise, looks like we'll remain dry. That will complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. Back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.